Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. I think this is for October 21st. <laughs> I've lost track of the days that I was doing. I think it's October 21st. All right, whatever day this shows up for, that's the day it's supposed to be. Let's see what we have going on. What a beautiful time. What a beautiful time. I love this. It's like really cracking through some of the deepest, darkest stuff and going, oh, there's some light, you know? It almost makes me like think of when you crack open a geode. Or you could use like an oyster <laughs> as an example where, you know, you crack open this oyster and there's a pearl inside or um, you crack open the geode and there's a beautiful druzy and there's just magic within. It's that sort of thing. But we have to kind of allow a situation or maybe our patterns or, you know, however we approach things, um, allow that to be cracked open so we can see what's inside. All right. Yeah, because it's time. It's time to bring some things to an end. And for some of you too, okay, so let's talk to some people who, because I'm feeling young. Um, you might be in your early 20s. Uh, you're going through a rough time. Maybe you're in school or maybe you're trying to, you're just figuring out life. You're figuring yourself out. And that can come with some defensiveness uh, because you're on edge. You don't know, but you don't want to admit that you don't know. So there's a feeling here, especially around today, where you realize, okay, I, I need to stop fighting back against people who are trying to guide me, okay? I need to stop acting like I know everything when I know nothing, <laughs> right? I mean, I was like that in my 20s too. You could not tell me anything. I was like, I know what I'm doing. And then I would hit up on these really hard circumstances. And I realized if I had just listened to people who's, who have been through this before me, you know, they're from a different generation perhaps or you know, they're a different age and so it's not going to be exactly the same thing but there was a protection message there that I just didn't want to hear, right? So somebody out there, I almost dropped the cards by the way. Um, so there's some realization around that too, okay? It's like I, I need to listen more to, doesn't mean you have to let people boss you around or you just take whatever they say as gold and you don't process it for yourself. I mean, you just... Feel it out, okay? Feel it out. King of Raphael. <sighs> Let's talk. You and me. You and me right here. Let's talk. I keep getting the feeling that somebody loves you and you didn't think they did, but boy, do they. And here they are. Now, that could be love of all kinds. This could be, I keep feeling like a sibling too, like sisters. And maybe... And I'm seeing like a sister burst out into tears and say, don't you know how much I love you? This has put me through so much pain and I, we got to work on this. And someone might say, well, this is such a silly situation anyway. And the other person who's crying is saying, no, the surface level situation is silly. But what it represents is a deeper pattern between the two of us. And we need to talk about that. Okay. It makes me feel like this when you do that. Yes. Okay. That could be a messy conversation. But for others of you, this is someone who's like, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give you a heads up and warn you. This is sort of like a bestie who just bursts out and says, gosh, why do you keep going with all those people who don't love you? Can't you see that I love you? You know, can't you see that I'm always there for you and that I want you to be okay? You know, it, it's like your Urkel, <laughs> the Urkel that you kept running away from and being like, Bleh, and then you turn around and you realize their value or they finally... Someone who's always been there for you finally puts a boundary down and says, I'm not going to be treated like this. It's messy and it's beautiful. All right. Warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust. That's been a big theme through the dailies and the weekly. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. Hey, I need this. I... I, I want to master multitasking <laughs> because there's too many things on my plate. But again, this, it's emotional. It's just being loved. It's just being loved. And maybe for some people out there, you're realizing what real love is. And there is a little bit of being able to um, sort of over, not overlook, but um not allow things to sink into your emotions as much as maybe they would have in the past. Uh, I'll give a quick example here. When I was having that weird day a few days ago, um, there was this guy on a bike who, 
long story, but anyway, there was a utility truck that had me trapped and I couldn't get around him and there was something going on. So I was just giving them a chance to converse. And they realized that they're, they're just talking and there's a parking spot right ahead of him. All he has to do is pull up into that parking spot and I can get around him. And they knew I was behind him the whole bit. Guy on a bike, he's right behind me. And finally I turned off my car because I felt like honking would be rude. <laughs> so I turned off my car and I was just gonna walk up to the vehicle and be like, do you mind just pulling up so I can get past you? The guy on the bike, as soon as I get out of my car, he starts yelling at me and scolding me like a child. He's like, you get back here. Don't you start something. And I turned and I looked at him and I was like, well, I was, I was confused, like just confused. And while I'm being confused by the guy on the bike, the guy in the utility truck apparently heard this and panicked and tore out of there. And I'm just standing there like, <laughs> I don't, I just want to go home. <laughs> I just want to go home. I don't know what's going on. But, um, normally or like historically in a situation like that I would have maybe been intimidated depending on the day I would have been maybe intimidated to say anything or that would have emotionally really 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 landed and I would have been like god why was that guy yelling at me what was he this was different this was like okay I don't know what that was I'm gonna disconnect right so I'm just whatever you do your thing you do your thing I don't know why everybody's panicking and freaking out it's that kind of thing where you can take a situation and just think for yourself, how would I have responded to that back then emotionally? All right. And then you can go down the road of what would I have thought of that before? And have I come any further? Now, maybe some people have not done any growing whatsoever. You're like, nah, I would have yelled at that guy and been like, get, get yourself out of here with your bike. Like, <laughs> right away, sir, um, you know, or whatever. But use that. I'm giving that example for a very good reason. You know, really take a moment that that you can remember whatever it is a situation that could have gone a different way right it could have been very confrontational uh, would you have confronted the person still or maybe you're somebody who is you know very passive and maybe you have a situation and you're like no I'm setting boundaries I'm not being confrontational like I wasn't gonna be confrontational with these people but you've left me sit here it was five minutes I was patient enough <laughs> being trapped there for five minutes Yes, there's something going on, but it's not like they were loading things off the truck or anything like that. They were just talking. He could pull up. So I was going to get out of my car and kindly ask him if he wouldn't mind doing that. You see the difference there? So evaluate that for yourself. This is this feeling of um, mastering your emotions, but from a very pure place. So it's not this control thing of I'm going to pretend like nothing's happening. I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to whatever. Or that, that fake thing that people are doing where they're like, oh, I don't let those things bother me. It's a lie. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I think you get the idea. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.